Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock video. I know many of you voiced your concern about the transparent straps on the GA2100 SKE turning yellow over time, and even the overall look for the skeleton design. So let's give this watch a little bit of color. At least, if it eventually turns yellow, it will not be that noticeable. My inspirations come from the newly released GA900 SKE that has a superb smoked grey kind of colour on its transparent band and bezel. A word of caution before we start, this mod requires you to remove the band and bezel and you will be handling hot water that may damage them. So the choice is yours. Please be safe when attempting the mod. Okay, so let's see what are the tools and ingredients you need. First off, we need the band and bezel from the SKE model. You will need the appropriate tools to remove them. Second, you will need two bolts large enough to submerge your band and bezel. Third, boiling hot water. And finally, a multi-purpose color dye of your choice. I'm using the brand Dylan, which is quite easily available online. I will leave the purchase link in the description. Removing the bezel on this watch is pretty easy. Just unscrew the four screws holding it down and the bezel comes off. Next, get the straps out. Just use a flathead screwdriver and take it off using the quick release mechanism on the straps. Now for the next step, I prefer to remove all the metal parts on the watch just to make sure the color covers all the area. The buckle is attached via a spring loaded pin just push it in a little and it should come off easy. Next, to remove the quick release mechanism takes a bit of effort. First, we start off by removing the steel barrel that keeps the mechanism tight. Then, just pry the pin out from its place. Let's start the dyeing process. First, add a packet of color dye. As per the instruction for this color dye, we add salt as the binding agent. Next, add hot water and give it a good stir. Now you can submerge the parts that you like to dye. I'm going to check the band and bezel every now and then until it reaches the color that I want. The longer you leave it in the process, the darker it will get. I think the color looks good now. Finally, I'm going to remove the band and bezel and submerge them into plain water. And that's it. You have successfully changed the colors of your band and bezel.
here is how they look now. Let's put the band and bezel back on the watch. Here is the final look of our new GA2100 SKE in smoked grey colour. Looks pretty amazing, right? Let me put this side by side with the transparent colours it came with. Overall, for me, at least it looks much better than the transparent band and bezel it came initially. You can also play around with the dyeing process to mix it with other colors and make something totally unique for yourself. Like I said in my previous video, G-Shock has given us a blank canvas and this is one way we can customize this G-Shock. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Do let me know your feedback on this mod in the comment section. Till next time, stay safe and I'll see ya!